recording? Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Emily. Welcome or what? <gasps> you okay? Don't be flying like that. You almost flew off. Hi guys, I'm Emily. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the mid-year book tag. Basically, I'm just going to be talking about the books that I have read in the past six months and what I think about them. And I have a few questions and I'm going to be answering them. Some of the books, I do not have the physical copy just because we moved and I have not put my bookshelf together yet. And hopefully I do that soon and I get to show you guys it better. But for now, I have a bunch of books that I don't have physically, but then I also have a bunch of books I have physically. So I will be just showing you pictures of the books if I do not have them physically, but if I have them physically, I will be showing you them physically. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, the best book you've read so far in 2024? So I have two books that I have really enjoyed so far this year, and one of them is The Vengeance of a Pirate Queen, which is just about pirates and it's like the third book in a series. I'm gonna be honest, the new covers came out and I did not really like them just because they have like people on the covers and I, I don't know, the old covers, which I'm gonna also puff up, just look better because they're so cartoony and that's the reason I decided to read the books because of the cartoony covers, not because of the people on the covers. And I was just like, you know what? Also, the third person, the, the third book is about a different person than the first two books are about. And I was like, you know what, I'm not interested in reading someone who is not really like the main character in the book. But I actually really enjoyed it, which was really surprising to me. Another book that I really liked, well, it's kind of like a series. But the other books that I really liked are the Once Upon a Broken Heart series, The Ballad of Never After, and then A True Love's Kiss. A True Love. <laughs> a Curse for True Love. And then Once Upon a Broken Heart, which I do not have physically, but I'll pop it up on here. But these three books are also some of the best books I have read in 2024 so far. I really enjoy them, and I am sad that it is over. The next question is, best sequel you've read so far in 2024? Well, one of the best sequels that I have read so far in 2024 is The Hawthorne Legacy, which is a part of the Inheritance Games. I read the inheritance games in the beginning of this year and I've slowly been going through the series but I loved the second book like I just love the second book I feel like I liked it more than the first one just because I already knew the characters and so on and so forth and then also I'm gonna repeat it but the ballad of never after by Jennifer Lynn Barnes just not Jennifer Lynn Barnes <laughs> the ballad of never after by Stephanie Garber just because I love Jax. Jax is one of my favorite fictional characters, or main male characters. And this one was so good. It was so much more interesting than the first one. And I loved it. The next question is, new releases that you have not read yet, but want to. I have a bunch of new releases. I just haven't had time to get to them. But I have three physically that I want to get to because I want to get through my physical TBR before I buy any new ones. So I have This Summer Will Be Different by Carly Fortune. I got this one recently in a book vlog, not a book vlog, in the shopping, a Barnes & Noble shopping vlog. And I want to get to this one. And then Not In Love by Ali Hazelwood recently came out and I have been wanting to read it so bad just because Ali Hazelwood is an auto buy author and I just love a lot of her books and I just want to continue to be in her writing. The next book is The the Rule Book by Sarah Adams. I've had this one for a while on my physical TBR now ever since it came out and I bought it but I haven't gotten to it so I want to read it and it is on my list of books I want to read in 2024. I know it's not that new of a release, but it's pretty new release this year, so I want to get to it and read it. Most anticipated releases in the second half of this year is The Darkness Within Us by Tracia Levenseller, which is an author that I talked about in the first question, 
but she's coming out with a sequel or a second book to this series which i'll put up both books so you can see it and i am so excited because Tristia love and seller doesn't have very many books out and the books that she has out i have read all of them and i love her writing and i love that it's ya so it's not very graphic but it's still very interesting and her writing is easy to read and you just kind of like fly through the pages and you eat up the pages and it's just so interesting to be in her worlds and the way she writes and so on and so forth by the way if i keep looking down it's because i have my notes here and it's just like all the questions are written on here but don't mind that the biggest surprise of this year i have two one of them is the inheritance games by jennifer lynn barnes I heard so many good things about the inheritance games and i was just so scared to read and like go into it and like read the actual books but once i started reading it i loved all the characters i liked avery grayson jameson just like nash xander all of them that were in the series i just loved it so much and enjoyed it so much and like the stories and the plot twists and everything is just so interesting to me like just the way Jennifer Lynn Barnes's like mind works is making me want to read The Naturals just because I read The Inheritance Games and I love her writing. And then the second biggest surprise of this year was Bride by Ali Hazelwood. It was, I believe, her first fantasy book that she has released and it was so good. I was just nervous to go into it just because it was, it was her first fantasy release. And a lot of people started giving mixed reviews on it and i was like you know what i'll try it and i actually genuinely enjoyed it so that was a big surprise to me also i wasn't expecting ali hazelwood to release a fantasy book uh she's kind of more like a author who's into like engineering and science and that kind of stuff so i wasn't expecting her to release a fantasy book so i guess that's the reason i put it on my biggest surprise the next question is or topic to talk about is favorite new authors debut or new to me um an author that is new to me is jennifer lynn barnes and i've been talking about her non-stop but i have absolutely loved her writing i loved her inheritance game series and i just want to keep reading through her books and see all the other books and hopefully read all of her books and hopefully she comes out with more because I just love it. Um, the next one was Frida McFallon. McFadden. Oh, can't pronounce things, but Frida McFadden is another author that I tried this year. I've heard so many things about her writing and how people really like her mysteries and her thrillers, and I decided to give her a try, and the book I tried was Never Lie. And usually for mystery and thrillers, I can guess what is going to happen or who the murderer is or this and that and this and that but this one like i had ideas but towards the end i did like guess one of the characters but i did not expect the other one i just i don't know like i wasn't expecting it to be like that but it was so interesting and i really enjoyed it the next topic of discussion is newest fictional crush well, I've had a crush on him since I read Carval series, and that is Jax. I just love Jax from Once Upon a Broken Heart. I don't know, it's just, he is one of my favorite characters, and I don't know why, I just, so far, he's my fictional crush. The next one is, the next topic of discussion is book that made me cry. A book that made me cry recently was the two the tattooist of auschwitz by heather morris i read this book because i saw it at costco i bought it and i was like oh i can't wait to read it and i read it and just like hearing the things that they went through this is based on a true story by the way and the things that they went through just made me want to cry and i actually cried a lot of times because like they explain it and sometimes it's in like pretty graphic detail of what happened to them and it was just so sad bless you it's explained in graphic detail and it is just so sad to hear what they had to go through as well as like just hearing not only his story like because it's in the male's point of view 
but also seeing what he watched others experience and others went through it was just so sad and then the ending you get to see how he falls in love and it's just so cute to see the ending and then i feel like the whole book made me want to cry but towards the end it for sure made me cry like in some parts in the middle of the book i cried too but the ending made me cry as well so just cried throughout this entire book is what i'm trying to say the next question is a book that book that made you happy well honestly any book by stephanie garber makes me happy just reading her books and then jennifer lynn barnes like i've talked about multiple times has made me really happy just reading her book and then sarah j mass as well has been an author that i've been really liking reading and her books just make me so happy just going into their world but a book book that made me happy is all roads lead here by mariana zapata mariana zapata is the queen of slow burn basically it takes so long for them to just hold hands let's just say it like that it takes so long for her to just like have them hold hands and this slow burn was not like any other rom-com or like even this book was not like any other rom-com usually there is always a second act like conflict and it's always they don't know how to communicate but in this one it was something else that was a second conflict and it wasn't miscommunication which i absolutely loved because they were able to communicate out of this second act conflict and it was just so nice just to not have to listen to miscommunication by the way this is between aurora and I keep forgetting his name I could never pronounce his name too. Oh, I always keep wanting to say Tobias Hawthorne, but his name is not Tobias Hawthorne. That's why I keep messing it up. It's Tobias Rhodes, like Rhodes in the title. And Mr. Rhodes and Aurora, it's just, you could see that this is not a miscommunication trope. And I really like that. And I think this is why it made me so happy because it was so nice to read something that was not miscommunication. I want you guys to check out this book. It's really good. Also, the, the new covers are kind of cute. I kind of like them. The next, hey, you're moving my tripod, ma'am. You're moving my tripod, ma'am. Okay. The next one is most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received. Well, I'm gonna be honest. One of the most beautiful books I got was this one because I wanted this book, but I for, I didn't buy it. And then my husband decided to go to Costco for me and he bought it for me and inside he signed it because it was my first day of work and he got me this book and I am so happy with it. It's one of my special, special books that I have received. But some of the books that I have bought are ugh, these three books. They are special because they are some of my first sprayed edges. I don't have, I don't think I have any books that have sprayed edges, but I recently bought some with sprayed edges and I am in love with them. Oh, so one of the first one is Five Broken Blades by Mally Corlin. I found out that this is her debut book and I heard many good things about it, so I decided to try it. And I got the sprayed edition. <laughs> also, I bought them at Costco, so it was like half the price that it usually is at Barnes & Nobles, which I'm, I mean, check out Costco if you have one near you and if you have a membership, because a lot of the times they have really good books and the prices are amazing. The second book is Heaven Breaker by Sarah Wolf. Heard also very good things about this one. Also. All of these I read the synopsis of and I really enjoyed it and I was like I'm, I think I'm gonna like these so I'm gonna try them out and also the sprayed dishes kind of sold me and then the last one is the Wren, the Wren in the Holly Library by K.A. Lindy. I can never pronounce anything but the sprayed edition it's pretty nice. Also a lot of times like the book covers are also like really cute and interesting and then this one also has 
inside artwork it's the same thing on the back which is kind of sad but it's still nice and very very pretty i'm going to show you the other two inside cover jackets as well this one is the haven the heaven breaker and it's pretty like interesting like i love the special editions like and i think i'm gonna start buying a lot more sprayed edges just because it is so cool just to see like the sprayed edges but that was all for today's video i hope you enjoyed and i can't wait to see you in the next one ciao